so here is the next day here. It's been approximately 16 hours or so. Let's unclump our pieces and see what we got. Alright guys, so my initial plan was to make handle like this. Antler, G10 sandwich, ebony, G10 sandwich, two chunks of ebony and one chunk with bolster in the end and then our blade, like so. But I don't know now. I really want to make it symmetrical now and go only like that. And I think this looks better. So let's go for it. And this piece, not necessarily gonna go to waste. I'm gonna keep it in my first aid kit and maybe I'll be able to use it somewhere. So we're pretty much ready to glue this up. Just gonna give it a sand. Make sure those sides are flat. And we're gonna glue this bad boy together. That's looking all right. So now let's get our hacksaw and cut those corners off and we get to filing, which is going to be a lot of fun, I hope. Another one bites the dust. Whew. Yeah, that took some energy. But again, Her Majesty Hexel, this task would be impossible without this beauty. Mwah. Now our weapon of choice is going to be a big bastard file. I also got this rasp and it seems to be working pretty good too. Slowly but surely we're getting there. So far so good. Send me, send me jar of elbow grease, please, elbow grease, please, elbow grease, please, elbow grease, please. Send me, send me jar of elbow grease, please, elbow grease, please, elbow grease, please, elbow grease, please. Send me, send me jar of. Elbow grease, please, elbow grease, please, elbow grease, please, elbow grease, please. Send me, send me jar of elbow grease, please, elbow grease, please, elbow grease, please, elbow grease, please. Already I can tell there's gonna be a problem because it was kinda hard to center this bolster because the antler is not ideally round so 
we'll work around it and then I got this brass plate we're gonna file this hole larger and then we're gonna put brass bolster on it to cover everything Other Okay, so what's the plan guys? Since there's a quite a large hole inside this handle, which is kind of my fault, but you live and learn, right? Anyway, to fill that, we're gonna use this cheaper epoxy. I'm gonna mix it in this cup, and then I'm gonna use this syringe to suck this in, and then we'll put everything inside. Then to glue this, brass part I'm gonna use this good epoxy which I trust already and then we will install our knife about half of it should be good it's only buck fifty guys dollar store Psh, unreal you know what I don't wanna mix it twice I'm gonna dump all of it no god please no no Okay, our first injection ready. You know what? I'm gonna use it everywhere. Let's test it. Might as well. Because I mixed so much. Look how much left. Uh oh. Setting up pretty quick. <sighs> you suck. Off camera, because I was a little pissed off. I cleaned everything. Brass piece and tang. I had to drill inside the handle. See this white stuff? That's epoxy. I was almost ready to give up, guys. But I didn't. Took a little break and kept going. Because I really, really excited to see this knife together. And we so close to the end. So, we're gonna try it one more time. Been a couple days, so everything is glued together nice. Okay, let's start filing our bolster.
All right, that took quite a while, but look at this pretty. Oh my God. I'm in love with this handle. Definitely gonna repeat it on some other knives in the future. I see some hunting or bushcraft knife on this handle. It's gonna be such a nice combo. So now let's work on top of this brass plate. Alright guys, so as you see, we have a little tiny hole here and it doesn't look quite nice. I'm gonna get a little bit of brass file dust, mix it with epoxy and we're gonna patch it. I meant to put just a little bit of epoxy but it didn't work. So now we're gonna sand the top of this brass plate and we're ready to get this beauty sharpened. And after we do that, we're gonna apply a coat or two of Danish oil for the handle. And this restoration will be complete. Thank for staying with me on such a long project, guys. I'm sorry it's taken so much time and that I had to make two parts of it, but there was so much involved in this project and I wanted to share with you as much as I can. So that's why this video is quite large. But I hope you understand and most of all I hope you're gonna like it. So if you dig it, smash that like button down there. Make it blue, will you? Alright guys, so to sharpen this bad boy, we're gonna use this stone called Sharpel. I've already done a review on my channel, so you can check it out right here. And they're really not bad. I like them because you don't need to soak them prior. They're super flat. And this box is also acts as a non-slip base, because it has rubberized bottom. So if you would like a set like this for yourself, you know where to find the link. Okay, let's get on it. The edge on this blade was severely damaged. And now check this out. And it's already pretty sharp guys. Check it out. Not bad, eh? So now we'll switch to 1200 grit and it's pretty much ready.
Let's see if we can cut this sponge. This isn't right! That was pretty easy. Bruh! How about a roll of paper towel? Paper towel sushi. I'd say that's pretty sharp. Those stones, those sharp L stones are definitely can make your knife sharp. And if you're curious, no, they not sponsor of this video. They just sent me those stones a while ago for my review. Then that's an honest opinion that they indeed work. Okay. Let's test this bad boy on some wedges. After all, that's what it meant for. Not for cutting paper towel and sponge. Wow. I am quite speechless, guys. I really, really, really like this handle, guys. What about you? Drop a comment down below. Let's see what you think. Let's remember how it used to look before. Thank you very much guys for the making to the end of this video. I appreciate it that you watched the whole thing. If you think I've earned your subscription, please go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Also if you dig this video, give me a thumbs up and thanks for being with me. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye now, good luck. Okay, let's slice some wedges. Hiya! Man, it's just a pleasure to work with this knife. Because I gave it second life. Restored it. Sharpened it. And it performs like a champ again on the kitchen. Oh yeah. is and our salad almost done just gonna put some salt, ground pepper, and you can put olive oil or any other dressing, but tonight I'm gonna put a couple spoons of sour cream. One, two. Done deal! Looks awesome, smells awesome, and...
Mmm. And tastes even better.